I'll be showing how an educator can create, distribute, and grade a quiz in Microsoft Teams. Now I'm here in Teams for Education in my class team, and I'm going to go to the Assignments tab right here. Now I'm going to go over here and click Create, and I'm going to choose Quiz. Now you can see there's a few quizzes I've already created. If I had a really long list, I could go to here and just search for it. But I'll click New Quiz right here, and then we'll come back and create the assignment after I create the quiz. So this has launched me into Microsoft Forms. Now Forms is great for creating regular forms like surveys, but this is going to be a special type of form called a quiz. Now first off, I'm going to just give it a quick title. This is going to be my philosophy quiz. And I'll give it a description. Okay, now I'm going to add a couple of questions. So the first question, we'll keep it simple. And I'm going to choose choice for multiple choice, and it is... Who is this a picture of? And I'm going to go find a picture of our good friend Socrates. So I'll insert an image and I'll search using Bing. I have some pictures here. Okay, I'll choose this one and I'm going to click add. Okay, now I'm going to fill in some options. So option one, Socrates, and I'll just fill these in. Add another option. Now these little check boxes indicate I check this to say what's the correct answer. It's this one. And I can even say a little message if they get that answer, or if they choose the wrong answer, I can tell them a different one. But I've just selected Socrates being the correct answer on this quiz. And now here I can say how many points, and this is worth five points, and we'll say it's required for this quiz. I'll add another quick question on multiple choice here. And by the way, if I wanted to make a different type of question, maybe it's a rating question or a text box or a date, lots of other things, ranking, Likert, file uploads, a lot of options in forms and quizzes. Again, we're going to keep it simple today for this video, but I have other videos where I go into more detail about these different choices. Let's make another multiple choice question, this one on a quote. Okay, I've pasted my quote and I'll fill in the options really quick on who said this quote. Add an option. John Locke is the correct answer, we'll select that. And then lastly, this is another five points by the way. Lastly, I'm going to add one last question and we'll make this into a description question and I'll add text. And this is one that as the educator, I will have to review this one. The other ones were multiple choice and I set the right answer. But for this last question, it's gonna be a actual part where the student will type in their answer and the answers will vary. Okay, here's the question, very important. Describe the philosophical underpinnings of Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. And that is a movie that they just released a new one recently after 25 years or so. And let's find a fun image of Bill and Ted. Click image, search. Oh, here's a classic right here when they were young, and we'll hit add. Okay, this is also worth five points, and I could add in the correct answers here, but we're not going to. This is going to be a free form answer, and it's going to be required. So I've got my three questions worth 15 points. Let's choose a theme, so I'm going to click on theme right here, and forms will generate some theme ideas. There's also some fun ones down here. I'll choose the blue sky and mountains. Now, I'm going to go to the dot, dot, dot menu in the upper right. This one's really important for quizzes. And I'm going to choose settings. All my quiz settings. So first off, option for quiz, show results automatically. I'm actually going to turn that off. I don't want to show them exactly what they're doing, especially since I have a question that as the educator, I'm going to grade freeform. If it was all multiple choice, maybe I could show them those results automatically, but I will turn that off. Who can fill out this form? Only people in my organization, meaning the school, the Office 365 IDs that are signed in, and it'll take down their name, and you can only do one response per person in this quiz. I could uncheck that if they wanted to do multiple times, but we'll leave it just one time. Options for responses. I could do something like, it only starts at this certain time, but I'm gonna click on end date. So maybe I want to say, you know what, after September 14th, quiz is totally closed, you can't do it anymore at 11 a.m. I can also shuffle questions. This is an important one. So sometimes students might be comparing back and forth, so if you shuffle questions, they would see different questions in different order. So I couldn't say, hey, number two, what'd you put for that answer? And I could also lock certain questions. So maybe I lock one to three to not shuffle. Um, then I have all the other questions shuffle up. We're just gonna have it shuffle all the questions all the time. And you can even customize a thank you message. Your response was submitted, and then you could add a custom little message. See you at the Circle K. And then notification, you can get notified and get sent email responses if you want. 
I'll choose not to in this case. So my quiz is all set. I'll click the dot, dot, dot. I can get a little uh, preview of what that's gonna look like. So hey, here's the preview. And this one is shuffled up so you can see that the questions are in a different order than I created them. There's even a mobile view to preview how that's gonna look on a mobile phone. Now, we're gonna go back into Teams as the educator. And we'll go back down here in Assignments and click Create. And we'll say Quiz. Now you'll see the Philosophy 101 quiz is right here. I'll select that and I'll click Next. You can see it's created a new assignment. It has the title of my quiz automatically. The form is attached. I'll give it instructions. There's my instructions. It automatically pulls in those 15 points. I can assign it to my whole class. I can give it a due date and a time, and I can post it with a certain notification to the general channel, all the same as my regular assignments. So my assignment is all ready, so I'll click Assign. Okay, now you can see that it showed up right here, Philosophy Quiz, and there it posted to the channel. Now I'm gonna sign in as a student and show what it looks like to fill out that quiz. So here I am signed in as Alex the student, and you can see in the general channel, this assignments card posted for my philosophy quiz, and I'm just gonna go and click view assignment. The assignment opens, here's the attached form, there's 15 points, there's the instructions, so I'm gonna open up the form. And here it is, and you can see that the questions are shuffled, so I'll answer the first question, describe the philosophical underpinnings. Oh, I know that one. Be excellent to each other, of course. Here's a quote, mm, I think that one was Francis Bacon. Who is this a picture of? Oh, that's Socrates. Okay, now I'm gonna click Submit because I'm done with my form. Thanks, your response was submitted. See you with the circle K. Great, I'm gonna close this. Okay, so I finished my assignment, my quiz. There we go, I get my turn in celebration. And so now I'm gonna sign back in as the teacher and show what that looks like to grade the quiz. Okay, now I'm back as Kara the Educator, and I'm going to go to Assignments, and we're going to grade this quiz. Philosophy 101 quiz, 1 of 25 turned in. That was Alex, so I'll go in here. We'll scroll down, and I'll click on Alex. So this is a special forms view inside of the Teams grader. It's kind of nice. So here's the quiz, and I've got all my students right here. This one, only Alex has turned it in, but if more students had turned it in, I could go through there. How long did it take him to complete it? How many points does he have so far? You can see here, he got the Socrates picture correct, so five out of five, it's auto-graded. I didn't have to do any work. I could hit review next, it'll jump me to the next question. Oh, it looks like he got this one wrong, Francis Bacon, so zero points. Then, review the next question. Describe the philosophical underpinnings of Bill and Ted's excellent adventure. This one needs review because it's not auto-graded. And I can even give a comment on the question. So I see that he wrote, be excellent to each other. That is absolutely right. Five out of five points. I can leave some feedback at the bottom. Great response. Now I'm all done with the quiz and you can see there's a total of 10 out of 15 points. I'm all ready to go to the next student if they wanted. I could also even grade by question. So if I had multiple people who had filled in this quiz, instead of sorting by people, I could sort by questions and then I could see all the people who answered this one correct for Socrates. Now I only have one response, but if I had 10 responses, I could show them all auto-graded. So that's the way to go through either by person or by question. So I'll click close. So Alex is all done. And if I go into the grade book and I scroll down, you'll see that Alex has 10 points for his quiz. If you found this video useful, give it a like. Now, if you want to keep up with all the latest quick tip videos that I'll keep releasing, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get notified for all the new videos that post.